Hello, welcome to Virtual Storytime. My name is Ms. Emily. I work at the Mooresville Public Library in Mooresville, Indiana, and I'm happy to have you with us. Get your clapping hands ready. All right, we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We'll clap one last time. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Nice job, everyone. Uh, today, our theme is about living in the city. So, do you know what a city is? A city is a place where lots and lots of people live. So, when there's lots of people that live in a small amount of space, that's a city. And if there are fewer people in a space like that, so that's maybe a smaller town or a smaller city. And if there's only a few people living and there's lots and lots of land, that's called living in the country. Next week we'll talk about that. But this week we're going to focus on what it's like to live in a big city. So the first book I'd like to suggest is called City Shapes. And this is an awesome book um, by Diane Murray and illustrated by Brian Collier. And it's about all the different shapes that you can see in the city. And do we see some shapes here on the front of this book? I see a circle. It looks like she's holding up a kaleidoscope to her eye. That's a toy that makes things look funny and puts lots of different colors together. I see these bubbles. Those are circles, right? I see maybe a rectangle over here. What's this on her shirt? Do you see that? It's a star, that's right. There's lots of different things. There's a, a oval of the sun right there. Lots of different shapes. You can see on the back. What shapes will you discover in the city? Lots of kids playing. This must be a park in the city. But this is a wonderful book that goes through and it looks at all the different shapes and it shows lots of different um, scenes in the city. And it is told from the perspective of a pigeon. A pigeon is a bird that is often found in cities. So this is City Shapes by Diana Murray and illustrated by Brian Collier. And it's a really great book to read. So I've got some shapes here. Can you help me with them? What is this shape? Do you see that? Here, I'll put it on the board so you can see better. <clears throat> can you tell what shape that is? It is a rectangle, that's right. So it is got long, two long sides and two short sides. It's kind of like a square, <clears throat> but it's longer than a square. And it's a big black rectangle. And then what is this shape? It's a circle, that's right, a circle. What color is that circle? It's green. Very nice, I'm gonna put this green circle right here. I have another circle. It is yellow. Look at that yellow circle. Bright yellow, isn't it? Hmm. I'm going to put that yellow circle right here. <clears throat> Can you guess what color my last circle is? What color might it be? It's red. That's right. It's a red circle. And when I put it right here, what have we made? It's a stoplight. That's good. Yeah. So a stoplight is found everywhere in cities and countries, wherever there are roads, but there are lots of them in the city because there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of people trying to get from one place to another. So <clears throat> what do those colors mean? What do you think they mean? So green means go, yellow means slow or be careful, and red means stop. That's right. So we're going to do a rhyme <clears throat> about this one. So get ready. We're going to roll our arms to show how fast you go, okay? So green means go. Go, go, go. 
Yellow means slow. Slow, slow, slow. And red means stop. Okay, see what I'm doing here? We've got one hand comes down on the other. Stop. So go, go, go. Slow, slow, slow. And stop. Nice job. Let's do that one again. <clears throat> Green means go, 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 go. Yellow means slow, 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 slow. And red means stop. Go, go, go. Slow, slow, slow. And stop. Nice job. Very good. <clears throat> that last uh, thing that we did with our hands, this is the American Sign Language um, sign for stop. So that's a good one to know if you want someone to stop. <clears throat> All right, there goes our um, traffic light. So in the city, it is always very busy. And the city is always growing and changing. Sometimes old buildings get torn down and new buildings get constructed. So there's a lot of construction equipment that happens <clears throat> that is used in cities and this next stretch is about a tall tall crane that helps build tall tall buildings all right <clears throat> so cranes reach up stretch up 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 and cranes reach down stretch down 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 cranes reach out 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 and all around can you go around like a crane nice job let's do that one again Cranes reach up, 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 up. Cranes reach down, 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 down. Cranes reach out, 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 and all around, all around. If you have the space, you could circle all the way around if you wanted to, like a crane could. Nice, very good. You feel kind of stretched out? <clears throat> good, all right. The next book that I'd like to suggest for you is called Skyscraper. And this book is by Jory Hurley. <clears throat> Do you know what a skyscraper is? A skyscraper is a word for a building that's so tall that the tippy top of it seems so high that it's scraping the sky. So it's a very, very tall building. In this book, is really neat. It shows, it shows the experience of um, building a skyscraper from the very beginning all the way up to the top. And it <clears throat> features all these different construction equipment. So here's a, a hauler and here's a, it looks like a bucket truck. Here's a cement mixer. And it's a really interesting book that shows <clears throat> how a skyscraper is constructed. And one thing that I'd like to, for you to notice if you check this book out at the library and you take it home and read it, is notice the trees. The trees change throughout the pictures in the story. And I think they will tell you a little something about how long it takes for us to build a tall, big building, a skyscraper just like that. So that is Skyscraper by Jory Hurley. So there, there are lots of construction projects going on in a big city. So we're going to sing a song about the people who drive those construction vehicles. Okay. This one is to the tune of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. So we're going to say, she'll be driving a bulldozer. And what does a bulldozer do? It pushes the dirt, right? So we're going to say, push it back. Okay. All right. She'll be driving a bulldozer when she comes. Push it back. She'll be driving a bulldozer when she comes. Push it back. She'll be driving a bulldozer. She'll be driving a bulldozer. She'll be driving a bulldozer when she comes. Push it back. What's another uh, truck that we could drive? Let's see. How about running a big digger. She'll be running a big digger and a big digger scoops up the dirt. So we're going to say scoop it up. Okay. 
She'll be running a big digger when she comes. Scoop it up. She'll be running a big digger when she comes. Scoop it up. She'll be running a big digger. She'll be running a big digger. She'll be running a big digger when she comes. Scoop it up. Push it back. Oh, we are adding to our things at the very end. All right, what about working a dirt dumper? When you are dumping a lot of dirt, what do you have to do? You have to say, look out below. Can you do that? All right. She'll be working a dirt dumper when she comes. Look out below. She'll be working a dirt dumper when she comes. Look out below. She'll be working a dirt dumper. She'll be working a dirt dumper. She'll be working a dirt dumper when she comes. Look out below. Scoop it up. Push it back. Oh my goodness, it's starting to get hard to remember those. All right, what about a cement mixer? Do you know what those do? Those have to constantly mix up this cement so it doesn't harden. All right, so we're going to mix it up. <clears throat> She'll be on a cement mixer when she comes. Mix it up. She'll be on a cement mixer when she comes. Mix it up. She'll be on a cement mixer. She'll be on a cement mixer. She'll be on a cement mixer when she comes. Mix it up. Uh, look out below. Scoop it up, push it back. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll have to keep thinking. Okay, what about a tall crane arm? We did cranes earlier, remember? So she'll be moving a tall crane arm and she'll lift it high. Can you do that? All right. She'll be moving a tall crane arm when she comes. Ooh, lift it high. She'll be moving a tall crane arm when she comes. Lift it high. She'll be moving a tall crane arm. She'll be moving a tall crane arm. She'll be moving a tall crane arm when she comes. Lift it high. Mix it up. Look out below. Scoop it up. Push it back. Okay. Can we do one more? All right. She'll be steering a street sweeper. So can you sweep the street? All right, she'll be steering a street sweeper when she comes. Sweep it up. She'll be steering a street sweeper when she comes. Sweep it up. She'll be steering a street sweeper. She'll be steering a street sweeper. She'll be steering a street sweeper when she comes. Sweep it up. Lift it high. Mix it up. Look out below. Scoop it up. Push it back. Whew. That was a tongue twister, and it was hard to remember all of those motions. Thank you for singing with me. That was fun. Thank you. All right. I've got one more song about some construction equipment. And this is about a dump truck. And this is a great one to do uh, if you like to be bounced in somebody's lap. I think Scaredy Squirrel loves to be bounced in my lap. <clears throat> that's a good one or you can do some bouncing on your own that's fine as well all right so we're gonna say bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck pour out the load oh that's so much fun can we do it again Bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck. Bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck. Bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck. Pour out the load. Oh, that was so much fun. Thank you, Scaredy Squirrel. Did you have fun? Oh, good. I'm so glad. In a city, there are lots of people, remember? So that means that there's lots of traffic as well. Do you know what traffic is? It's when there's lots of cars on the road, cars and trucks and motorcycles and all kinds of different vehicles. And uh, in order to make it a little bit better, a little bit less traffic on the road, some people don't all have their own individual cars, but they ride together. So they'll ride together on a bigger vehicle like a bus or a train or a subway, so, uh, or even a ferry if there's water near a city. There might be a ferry boat that goes from one place to another and carries a lot of people. So uh, my next rhyme is about a hippopotamus who gets on a city bus. 
that's a kind of a silly thing. That probably wouldn't happen in real life, but it is fun to pretend. And we're going to um, do a rhythm for this one. So you can slap your thighs or pat your, pat your lap in order to make the rhythm. And all these different animals are going to get on the bus and there will be silly things that happen to each of them. All right. So we're going to start with the hippopotamus. Okay. A hip, a hip. A hippopotamus got on, got on, got on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, You're squishing us! Oh my gosh, that hippopotamus was so big, it squished all the people. What happens when a cow gets on the bus? Let's try it. A cow, a cow. A cow got on the bus. Yes, a cow. A cow. A cow got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, move over. Oh my goodness. Just like a cow says moo. Mm -hmm. What about what would happen if a snake got on the bus? Let's see. A snake. A snake. A snake got on the bus. Yes, a snake. A snake. A snake got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, sit down. Oh, silly. Okay, last one. What about a sheep? What would happen if a sheep got on the bus? <clears throat> Let's see. A sheep. A sheep, a sheep got on the bus. Yes, a sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, back up. Oh my gosh, that one's a lot of fun too. <clears throat> nice job, everybody. So like I said, you can slap that one out on your thighs or that could be another bounce as well. So if you were bouncing on somebody's lap, and you can lean back or lean over. There's some fun different ways to do that one. All right, so do you know where people live in a city? Do you think everybody has their own individual house? That would be a lot of houses because there's so many people and they would run out of room really quickly. So just like with the traffic where everybody doesn't have their own individual car, People don't have their individual houses and they live in tall buildings called apartment houses and everybody has their own space inside the apartment <clears throat> building, but they all live in one building. And a lot of times those are really tall. So the next book I'd like to suggest for you to check out at the library is called Noisy Night. And this book is by Mac Barnett and the pictures are by Brian Biggs. And it's a really funny book about all of these people that live in a tall apartment building and each one is doing something kind of noisy and they can hear each other on the ceiling and on the floor and you will have to check this book out to find out what happens when all these people are in the same place doing noisy things in the night so that is noisy night in this tall tall building of these apartments for people to live in in the city. That was a tall building. Have you been in a tall building before? Do you know how you get up to the different um, to the different floors? Sometimes you can take the stairs, that's right, but if you have lots of things in your hands um, or if you're just kind of tired that day, there's also something called the elevator. Have you been on an elevator before? You get to push the button which floor you get to go on. Elevators are fun to be on and my next song is about an elevator and it is a very fun song. So this is another song that you can do with your grown-up. Scaredy Squirrel is going to be my um, my kiddo today uh, and it's a lifting song. So if you like to be lifted this is a great song for you. If not you can stand up and sit down when we talk about going up and going down. Okay? All right. 
So it starts with some motions, okay? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on not a lot of land. And we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we open the door. We ride the elevator up, we ride the elevator down. We ride the elevator up, we ride the elevator down. We take the elevator up, we take the elevator down. And we turn around. Oh, that was so fun. <clears throat> Let's do that one one more time, okay? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on very little land and we live way up on the 57th floor and this is what we do when we go out the door we take the elevator up we take the elevator down we take the elevator up we take the elevator down we take the elevator up we take the elevator down and we turn around nice job very good Oh, that was a fun song. What did you think, Scaredy Squirrel? Oh, I loved it too. Nice. All right, my friends. That was a lot of fun. Almost as fun as going on a real elevator. So I have a couple of books <clears throat> in addition to the ones that we talked about earlier that I think you might also enjoy. There are two books about construction equipment. <clears throat> the one is called Good Morning Digger, and this is by Anne Rockwell and illustrated by Melanie Hope Greenberg. That's a really fun one about uh, lots of construction equipment who, uh, that are building a building in a city. And then there's another one called Go, 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 Stop by Sharice Miracle Harper. And this one also has lots of construction equipment. It also has our friend the stoplight. So go, 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 stop by Sharice Miracle Harper. <clears throat> and there are two other books <clears throat> that are about people that live in cities that are really good. This one is called City Moon and it is by Rachel Cole and Blanca Gomez. And this is about uh, a young child that goes out into the city with his grown up and they take a walk looking for the moon up above all the buildings and it talks about all the different things that they get to see on their walk. So that is City Moon. <clears throat> and the last one is kind of similar. It is about a boy that goes for a walk with his dog and it's called Windows. It's by Julia Denos and illustrated by E.B. Goodale. And this is about a young boy that walks around his city and he sees all the cool things that people are doing as they're getting ready to go to bed in the city and he's exploring his neighborhood as well so windows city moon <clears throat> go 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 stop and good morning digger are some good books to check out about cities and as always if you stop by the library this week <clears throat> you can grab our uh, craft packet that you can take home it has our rhyme sheet in it with everything, all the songs that we did today, as well as the book suggestions and our craft for this week. So inside you'll find a bag with some stickers, foam stickers, and a piece of chalk like that, <clears throat> a black sheet of paper, and you get to make your own cityscape, city scene. And this is mine. So I included on mine some tall buildings with lots of windows. I have a road, I have a harbor with some water that goes out to sea for the boats, and I even put in a railroad for my train. I used all of my vehicle stickers. You can do what you'd like, <clears throat> um, but those are some fun ones to make with your city scene. So I hope you had a good time this week. Next week we'll be talking about what it's like to live in the country. So we will see both sides of that story. And I think it's time to tickle the stars. Are you ready? Do you have your tickling fingers? Okay, let's tickle the stars and we'll tickle our toes. And we'll turn around and tickle our nose. Tickle, tickle, tickle. We'll reach down low and reach way up high. Story time is over, so wave goodbye. 
Thank you, everyone. Have a great week.